Hello friends and welcome back to my very echoey dorm. I apologize, but in today's video I'm going to be doing a dorm room tour. So I'm going to be showing you what the RA room in Clemson's Honors College looks like. I was actually very blessed and got the largest RA room and I'm living in Crib Hall or I lived in Crib Hall and as you can tell <laughs> I am now all moved out so all of my stuff is officially out the door into my car and I'll be heading out tomorrow but I'm currently editing this clip from when I filmed my dorm room tour and I realized that I did not make an intro for you. So I just want you to know that I am so excited you're here. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashley Ardell and I am now going to be a junior at Clemson University studying genetics. So that's enough of me talking. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions about my dorm decor or anything like that. So, enjoy. All right, so this is the door that you would come in through and you would enter into this entryway. All right, so this is the entryway, which is honestly very long. So this door leads to the bathroom and we have a full length mirror and next to the bathroom I keep my jewelry on a little hanger and this used to be by my bed last year but it's actually super cute and easy to just like have everything on the wall. And then next to that is my closet. So our closets in this building are just open. So this curtain actually doesn't come with it. I just put that up there because otherwise it's just an open closet. And then I feel like that takes away from the room. Next to the door, I have two command hooks. The top one is for my mask and keys. And then this is like my car travel bag, which I don't usually have, but it just has like cleaning supplies and stuff for COVID. And then I have an April calendar and I love coffee, so it's coffee themed. And then I have extra masks there. And then one of my favorite parts of this room is my home wall. We had this in my dorm freshman year as well. And my mom actually made this sign, which says home. And then all of these cute little pictures. I have a bunch more from this year to add, but that was just from freshman year. And then I just keep my shoes on this little shoe rack, which is out in the open. It used to be in my closet last year, but this year I was like, I have all this empty space, so why not? So then from there, you can see from the entryway, you enter into my room, which is actually kind of spacious. Um, it's much larger than the dorm I lived in freshman year, which is crazy to think about. Um, but then I just have this standing lamp, which is from, I believe Target, yes, it's from Target. And it, I just wrapped these cute little llama garland lights around it. And then I have my anxiety, prayers for anxiety wall. These are from Daily Grace Co. And I just thought they're so pretty. And it's honestly just like a good reminder. So it's nice to have that. And then next to the lamp, I have this little cart, which I believe is also from Target. And I have a little salt lamp and my Pure Vita bracelets and this is like a little succulent my ra name tag and then in this drawer i just keep miscellaneous things this is all my bullet journaling supplies um this is jewelry and money and then my cords and random things that i need this was an air purifier because you know covid and we all thought we needed that um and then we have the couch, which is honestly my favorite part of the room. I love this couch. The couch is actually from Home Depot, which is 
crazy to think about. And then this blanket is not really a throw, it's actually a full size. It's from Target and of course I have the llama theme. So I have the little llama pillow and that I believe was from TJ Maxx. And then I have this pink little poof, which is actually doubles as a storage container. So I keep my towels in there. And then my mom made this little tray. It was actually an antique tray that we painted and lined and just had like miscellaneous things in there. And then my wall. So if we back up, this wall is giant. So I had a lot of space to fill and we were like, what do we do with that? So I really love sunflowers. They're my happy flower. And a lot of people probably say that, but I honestly just love them. And every time I go home, my mom will have sunflowers for me. And like, if I'm going through a bad day or something, she'll send flowers that are always sunflowers. And so it just, it, it's just good. And I just love that so much. So I am so thankful and we actually made this little A ourselves and we just emptied uh, picture frames to make it look kind of like a window. And then I have over here just my letter board, which is super cute. I love coffee, obviously. And then up there, that is um, just some notes that people left me freshman year when I did Eureka at Clemson. And we just have some succulents and this little encouraging don't stop until you're proud. And so then next to the couch in this gray bin, I have all of my workout supplies, a little travel desk, a fan because we know that we'd be needing a fan in here because it's like a million degrees. I swear we can't control the air. I don't know why and a chair to sit out on the balcony. And then I have this little fridge. It's a micro fridge, which is a microwave and fridge. I just rent it from the school because I think that's the easiest. And so then I put these little magnets. I've got some llama ones, some obviously some friends and uh, succulents. And my succulents are not doing so well. They don't stay up very well. Um, and then I have this Clemson gnome, which is just so cute. We couldn't pass it up. And then my coffee maker, which is the DeLonghi. I don't really know how you say that, but it's from Target. And it's actually only like, I say only $90. Like that's not a lot. But in comparison to other espresso makers, it's very inexpensive. My frother doesn't work though. I don't know why. And then my mom made me this little thing and this is what I brew my espresso in. And these are the beans, which are the Starbucks espresso roast, a calendar that's not updated. That was like that corner of the room. So if we turn this way to look at our bed, I have these super cute little fairy lights. These are actually llamas, which is adorable. And I just keep um, clothes and bags and sweatshirts on this little rack, which is actually a like a door rack that I, on my bed, and yoga mat, Crocs, and then my bed. So that is my bed. And so then for my bed, I just have this llama throw blanket, which really started it all with the llamas, uh, which was from TJ Maxx. And then we found this pillow, don't remember where, um, but we had to get it. And then I just went with like pink and yellow because um, that was what was in this blanket. And also it went with the sunflower themes. And then this, I believe is a Pottery Barn comforter. And then we got this little plush llama off of Etsy, which is so cute. It was like the perfect little touch for the bed. And then above the bed, I have just some pictures. So I had a sweet little girl give me that Mary Poppins painting because my senior year of high school, I was Mary Poppins um, in our musical. So that was so sweet. And then those are houses on Truro, which is in Cape Cod. And this is a little painting of my hometown. My sister wrote me this sweet poem. 
and that is Nantucket. And so that is just what is above there. And then we actually have this little click light lamp thing, which is up there, which is so cute. And my mom found that and it, it really just makes the room so cute and lights it up. So if I'm in bed and I just want a little light, I can have that on with my little fairy lights. And then this little garland thing my mom made. So we are very crafty in my family, which is so nice. I'm so thankful for that. And then next to my bed, we have these two gray drawers. So those are from Target. And you've probably seen these in a lot of dorms. Um, they're just the Sterilite drawers. And so this one, I keep snacks. These are like school supplies and then cooking supplies. And then these are full of clothes, except for this one has um, just like oils and that's toiletries and stuff. And then we have over it this little uh, TV stand, which was actually wood, and then we painted it gray to match the theme of my room. And it actually did not come with these, so it was just like open like this in the middle. And so we were like, why not? add a little bit of extra storage space so we actually took boxes these are just cardboard boxes and wrapped them in fabric and uh made little storage compartments there and this is diffuser in the tv so that's actually really neat you know diy your way through college it makes your life so much easier if you can't find what you want make it um and i told my mom she should definitely do like a diy flip um, dorm rooms so then we have this just breathe little sunflower painting which sits right in the middle of my room which I love seeing that because just breathe is one of my favorite quotes is something I live by when I'm having a bad day and I just remember to just take a breath it's gonna be okay and obviously like I said sunflowers are my happy flowers so I actually had a friend who designed this and made it hand painted it for me which is amazing so then shifting over, we have this weird catty corner thingamajig here in my room. So um, with that space, it was perfect to put my whiteboard, which just has random scribbles. I was helping my sister with her math homework, and then that's like my workout AMRAP on there. Um, and then a cork board, which is all my photos, and another calendar, and a llama. Um, and then this is my wall of just verses from the Bible that I really like and I'm trying to memorize as well as just some encouraging cards from my mom. So I just really like having those there. I use this to study mostly the whiteboard. Um, so then we shift again and we have the desk and dresser. Um, so we dressed this up a lot as well too. So I have my little lamp and then the sunflowers are not real obviously and just some succulents and a little llama calendar pictures in there and then some of my textbooks and then i have my pencil holder there and this little uh chalkboard which just has galatians the fruits of the spirit written on it uh so i look at that while i study and then this little desk topper uh, my dad made this, which is crazy because as you can see, like our desks are just plain and the only thing we have is this tiny little shelf under there. And I was like, that's not going to be enough space. <laughs> and I just also wanted to kind of make my desk look cute. So I kind of gave him a vision of what I wanted and this is what he created. So very impressive. Um, again, so blessed to have so creative people in my life. Um, so there's my laptop and stuff where I work. And then we ordered this little, um, just like cover thing to go on top of my desk just so that it was smooth and adds a little bit of cuteness. And then I just have this little tea Hawaii coaster, which I like to have that. My parents got that for me when they went to Hawaii. And then my little dresser has three drawers they're all full of clothes this is just my biochem textbook that i need to return to the library um but i have another diffuser here and some oils in an oil stand and then this little encouraging verses from 
um, I think Day Spring actually, but I got it at Hallmark. I'm not at Hallmark, at Hobby Lobby. And then my hand sanitizers. And then this little basket usually has mugs and water bottles and such, but I took a lot of them home for move out so i don't have them anymore and then this is just to hold my phone while i watch videos and stuff these were cards to study for finals um and then just a little llama card for my mom but that's the final touch i also have this cute little cross that sits above my desk that my mom made for me with a little sunflower so cute so i thought i would show you look at this view oh my goodness <gasps> So I have the perfect view of this Clemson smokestack and then that's the stadium and behind the stadium if you look carefully you can see the lake which is so pretty. The only bad thing so that's another balcony over there from our neighboring building and then I have one that's right outside my door so so beautiful and the sunset's amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed my college dorm room tour at Clemson University in the Honors College. I have loved living here for two years, so if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that you can follow along for more amazing vlogs and videos just about college life and Clemson. I'm just so excited that you are here, that you're watching this video, so please subscribe for more. And go follow my Instagram if you want to stay updated and just get all kinds of fun and encouraging content there as well. I love you all and just please remember to live boldly, fearlessly, and authentically you. Love you so much.